It's now widely accepted that by 2030, mobility, especially in large urban areas, will be dramatically different from today. With transport seamlessly connecting people's lives, consumers will be able to get from A to B in a way which is cheaper, cleaner, safer. And our journeys will change to become productive and entertaining extensions of our day-to-day -day routines. With segments of the population, such as the young and the elderly, set to benefit from wider access. Let's have a look at just how the future might look. Instead of paying separately for fuel, tickets and travel cards, consumers will be able to buy integrated mobility contracts from new and different service providers. Not only will these providers benefit from a much wider sales opportunity, but the experience for the consumer will be easier and more joined up. Indeed, the concept of personally owning a vehicle and having to have a driving license to operate one may become redundant too. So that soon, the way a car functions will be unrecognisable. Electric, powered, autonomous, driverless, shared. A fully functioning digital environment. Hi, Henry. Hi, Katie. Ready for school? A place of work and a place to play. And with new entrants developing technology such as kinetic energy road harvesting, businesses are set to gain further from new revenue opportunities. New and previously unthinkable collaborations in and between sectors, not just how a car looks, but how it functions. And even when your car does malfunction, it will no longer need breakdown recovery to get it back on the road. The way we use public mobility will change too. Workspace. Whether passengers want to prepare for that nine o'clock meeting, a bit of me time, or simply want filtered clean air. And when our cars are connected seamlessly to our digital selves, they'll be able to help coordinate our day-to-day -day lives and keep us fit and healthy too. Morning, Henry. Straight to golf, George. Yes, please. Though I need to speak to the GP on the way. Hold a Porter in, will you? Hello, George. Hi, Alice. All fit and healthy, I assume? I'm afraid not, George. Your blood pressure is above 140. So, no golf? No, you'll just need to pick up your meds from the pharmacist beforehand. And with the car able to place orders and send instructions, customers can pick up their prescriptions and the rest of their shopping seamlessly. Of course, this is just one version of the future. What is certain is that we are at the beginning of a truly transformational journey. We will see shifts in traditional business models. We expect to see two very different business archetypes existing side by side. So-called metalsmiths will continue to follow the current model of manufacturing ever more sophisticated hardware, the cars themselves. Meanwhile, an all-new archetype, the Gridmaster, will arise. The successful Gridmaster is not only a vehicle manufacturer, they also provide the platform for a variety of customer services. This means as well as seamless travel from A to B, they can offer consumer-centric products and services by harvesting and using data at the customer interface. While each archetype will compete against a very different group of players, both will have an important role to play by 2030, a new mobility services segment worth well over a trillion dollars will emerge from products and services related to autonomy, mobility and connectivity. We believe that future success will only come through an unprecedented degree of collaboration and through design and thinking across government and business. is exciting. The details are yet to be worked out and collectively we can build our model of mobility 2030. To find out more, speak with one of KPMG's strategic advisors.